the story I promised earlier, at least four villages and four schools have been deserted following the escalation of violence between two communities living in Narok South that has forced locals to flee for their dear lives. The latest flare-up has led to uncertainty among candidates sitting this year's national examinations. KTN News' Elphas Legat visited the affected areas and filed the following report. It is the look of despair of a man who has lost virtually everything. 65-year-old Peter Tenget is yet to come to terms with a huge losses he incurred last week when armed gangs torched down his two-bedroom house, a granary, and made away with a water tank. The home of his son was also destroyed. More than 70 houses all brought down and dozens of families rendered homeless. Oloruasi Primary School is completely deserted. It is one of the four closed down as teachers and pupils fled for dear life. Wanafunzi hawa ambao wanaenda kuketi katika mtihani hiyo ya kitaifa ingewezekana kwa sababu najua serikali yetu inachukua mikakati ya haraka hili wao wanafunzi waweze kukualishwa na kupatia guiding and counseling wajue kwamba nini imefanyika ime, ime na pia waweze kurudi na tupatiwe kama ulinzi waweze kusoma katika ile hali ya e, ile, ile masingira yao ya kawaida Meanwhile, Samson Kiprono, a 28-year-old man, is being held in police custody at Ololunga in connection with a chilling murder of a 9-year-old boy and serious bodily injury meted on 75-year-old Esther Minor and a 12-year-old granddaughter. The guy was just from, 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 from within the community. He was identified later on and he was arrested by the community and handed over to the police. As we speak now, the guy is in custody, he's a 28-year-old man. Uh, he's in police custody. We're waiting for the victims to, to recover a bit to be able to, to talk so that we can now start processing evidence that can be taken to court. Well, this is what remains of a two-bedroom house in Olorwasi village when an armed gang descended on houses, rendering dozens of people homeless. Meanwhile, County Commissioner George Natembea has strongly stated that they will take investigations right to the doorstep of local politicians who could be using the issue of Mao to gain political dividends. Alphas Lagat, KTN News, Narrow County.